Playing golf for cash. For most of us, we only think of the PGA Tour on Sunday afternoon TV, but the International Players Tour is changing that perception. Now in its seventh year of competition, the IPT provides players of all skill levels with the opportunity of a lifetime inside the ropes, on television, for significant cash prizes, including $20,000 to the winner of the 2008 IPT Tour Championship. International Players Tour, living the dream. I want to welcome everybody to the 2008 International Players Tour Tour Championship round number one. First up, Randy Lamoureux. I played about 20 tournaments this year and uh, this is definitely the most challenging course that we've played so far. Round one began with unusually harsh weather. Heavy winds and cold temperatures were a major factor, making it difficult for players to get comfortable and get into their rhythm. Uh, it was really cold, windy this morning when we first started. It was, it was, it was brutal. <laughs> the round was really narrow. <laughs> I mean, the round is tough. You better play, you better do course management. These are by far the hardest golf courses that uh, I've played in the state of Texas, uh, for sure. And uh, outside of Pebble Beach, I'd say they're the hardest courses. Danny Kislinki from Illinois had the low round of the day with a 73, one over par. Scores at the end of round one reflected not only the demanding shots required of the famous Ramrock course, but the challenging weather conditions as well. Unfortunately for the players, round two started with more of the same conditions as a cold front rolled in with record lows. I'm from the equator, so this is freezing cold for me, as in even right now, whereas people have taken off their jackets, I'm still putting on stuff. Of course, could be a little easier and make a lot of people a lot happier, but uh, everybody's got the same shots. Actually, I played pretty good for about 13 holes. The other five, I don't want to talk about. <laughs> That's a tough little hole right there. The weather remained dismal through the end of the round, making players feel like any movement up the scoreboard may be a little too late. A chip in would be nice. I'll take it getting close. Only the strong would survive, and only one player, Jay Mitchell, could post a red number for the day on the Apple Rock layout. On Saturday evening, IPT's founder and CEO, Ron Beeman, hosted the annual IPT Vision Banquet. During the festivities, Beeman acknowledged the people who have contributed to the growth of the IPT across the nation, recognized significant 2008 player achievements, and shared his vision for the future of this rapidly expanding tour. Headed into the final round on Sunday, there was no clear favorite, as only one player had broken par on the tough Horseshoe Bay layouts. It seemed like one by one, all the players in the last two groups were falling down the leaderboard. Clearly, the quest for the $20,000 was taking its toll mentally and emotionally on the players. I took one bad hole at 11 and I made a bad stroke out in the middle of the fairway and it cost me. It cost me dearly. I, I played that hole five over for the tournament and that, that cost me a lead. Coming into the back nine, Michael Olson had advanced to a seven stroke lead. Bob Torgan had moved into second place one stroke ahead of Jay Mitchell and two ahead of Bill Steedham. Although draining a couple of long putts on the 18th green, Brad Bezler and Josie Ainley missed a few opportunities on the back nine. Although having played well, it just wasn't enough to have a chance to catch the leaders. Torgan fell several strokes behind Mitchell and Steedham in the Net Division Championship but comfortably secured a win in the senior net division. We seem to see you up here a lot, don't we? Jay Mitchell lined up a touchy downhill 30-foot birdie putt for the $20,000 winner's check if it goes in. He barely touches the putt to get it rolling. It goes by the hole and stops eight feet below the hole. 
Michael Olson knows the significance of his putt. His 25-footer has great pace and, oh, just narrowly misses the edge of the cup. Bill Steedham needs a make and Mitchell a miss to have a chance at a playoff or second place. Unfortunately, his birdie putt slides just left an inch from the hole. His tap in par would not be enough, and he finishes third place. Olsen taps in for a double bogey. That drops him into second place.